All right, guys, so 24.3 was just announced. We have a double workout with some squatting and some pulling. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to do five rounds. We're going to be doing 10 thrusters and 10 chest-to-bar pull-ups. On the scaled side, we're going to start with five rounds of 10 thrusters at a lighter weight, and then we have 10 jumping chest-to-bars. Once we're through our first five rounds, we have a one-minute break before we continue on for another five-round workout where things get a little more challenging. On the RX side, we're going to be doing seven thrusters at a heavier weight, and then our pull-up is going to turn into bar muscle-up. And then on the scaled side, our five rounds are going to be thrusters at a heavier weight, and then we have seven chin-over bar pull-ups. So a little bit more of a breakdown. The first set of thrusters in the first five rounds is going to be 95 pounds for the guys, 65 pounds for the ladies in the RX category. In the scaled category, we have 65 pounds for the men and 45 pounds for the women. Chest to bar pull ups. So, on each of these pull ups, our chest actually has to have contact with the bar. We'll go over that in a second. And then on the jumping side, the scaled side, we're just going to jump that pull up, but instead of getting the chin over, we're actually coming into contact with the bar. So, that's, the, that's what that is for that. And then on the second side, the thrusters are heavier. We're doing seven thrusters, 135 for the guys, 95 for the ladies. Then the scale division will be 95 for the guys, 65 for the ladies. And then our movement changes to bar muscle up for the guys. So we're getting ourselves on top of the bar without any sort of climbing. And then on the scale side, we have chin over bar pull-ups. Just our regular kipping pull-up or strict pull-up where we get our chin all the way over the bar from an extended position. So for some people, enough people, this is going to be the workout. It's going to be a five-round sprint of thrusters and pull-ups or thrust thrusters and jumping pull-ups. And then if we don't have muscle-ups, we're just going to finish our seven thrusters and that'll be that workout. So your might, workout might look just like this and you're just going to give everything you have. So as for standards, our thruster is going to be a full front squat into a press overhead. So on each of those, we're going to take the bar up to the front rack so we can clean it. And then from here, we set our feet, and we're going to squat all the way down before we come all the way up in one motion, pressing the bar right overhead. Come do a couple more. But we want to make sure we do go to the bottom for this one and hold it. We want to make sure that our hip crease is below our knee here. So if this would be a good rep, go all the way up and press, and then give me a little quarter one. So the hips are staying above the knee, so that would be technically a no because we want that full squat rep and full depth and press overhead. Okay, Macy, take a little break. Now, another thing we want to focus on with the thruster is getting the bar all the way overhead, arms nice and straight. So, Brenna, go back to the front. So, from here, he's going to give us a couple more reps. We want to make sure that we're locked out overhead and our arms are nice and straight in a stacked position. Now, give us a little one with the arms bent. So, we're just kind of almost pressing all up. We want to press all the way up for each of these reps to count. Now, do uh, take a break. Okay, the next thing we might see is a bit of a thruster jerk as the weight gets heavy. Athletes might try to re-bend underneath the bar. So I want everybody to pay attention to Macy's knees on these reps. You're going to see that she re-dips under the bar on each of her thrusters. So this would technically be not a rep because this is a completely different movement. Uh, that tends to happen when the weight gets heavy, so we want to be cautious of that. We want to really squeeze the legs and remember we come up from our thruster. I hope that felt good. Okay, now on the scaled side, what we're going to be running into is going to be a jumping chest-to-bar pull-up. So typically we do a lot of jumping pull-ups as modifications for our workouts. What we're changing today is instead of our chin coming over the bar, do one jumping pull-up, we have a jumping chest-to-bar. So Macy's going to make sure this logo physically touches the bar. I can feel the rig move whenever she does that. So that'll be the big change. The tip here is that whenever you get there, you want to pull your elbows down and back to really pull your chest to the bar or pull that bar down to your chest. So that would be the first variation. On the RX side, we will be doing a regular chest to bar pull-up from a kipping or strict or butterfly. But we're coming down, swing through, up, Again, chest touches the bar. We don't just get the chin over the bar. We're getting the chest to the bar, like physical contact. That's what we're looking for. Then in our second workout portion, we have thrusters and bar muscle-ups or thrusters in the chin over bar pull-ups. On the scaled variation, it would just be your traditional chin over bar pull-up, whether that's kipping or butterfly. But the chin just has to get over. This would be your second variation. So you go from a jumping chest to bar, and then in your next five rounds, we do the regular kipping pull-up. We have a 15 minute time cap, a lot of squatting, a lot of pushing, and a lot of pulling. The muscles are going to burn more than they have the last two workouts, and you just have to deal with that. That's it.